So welcome back to the channel. Monica Lube here at the Love Messages. So today we're gonna to be doing your reading for the month of October. This is going to be a general reading, so it may resonate with you, it may not. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. <clears throat> Virgo, in this reading, I'm going to be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. We're going to be looking at your challenge and what you don't see coming for the month of November. Okay, what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, you have the Five of Swords. And what you don't see coming in November is the star, okay? Now, before I get into your reading, I just briefly want to mention that, just so there isn't any confusion, um, this reading that I'm doing for you is for October, and then I look at a card, one card, a few cards sometimes, um, to see what's coming in for you in November, okay? So the, the primary reading is for October, and then we move into the energies uh, that you don't see coming for November, okay? Now, let's t get into your reading. Let's start off with your challenge. Your challenge is the Five of Swords, okay? So your challenge over the next few weeks has a lot to do with the Five of Swords energy. Five of Swords energy is someone who is not afraid to be themselves. They're not afraid to step outside of their comfort zone. They're not afraid to stand up for what it is that they want in their life. I feel like the Five of Swords is, um, <clears throat> it could be an energy that a lot of you aren't used to being in, okay? That means uh, stepping outside of your comfort zone, standing up for what it is that you want, setting the tone uh, for what it is that you want. And most importantly, not being afraid to speak and say what is on your mind, okay? That's gonna be a big uh, part of your challenge. I do feel like October is a very transformative month for you considering that you just had your birthday, which means a new cycle is starting for you, okay? In October, a lot of things are happening. Jupiter is going to go retrograde. We also have Mars in its shadow period, and we also have Capricorn moving direct, okay? So for many of you, if there's been some sort of stagnation, if things have not been maybe moving forward the way that you want them to, uh, now is gonna be the time where things start to change. And <clears throat> your challenge here has a lot to do with being proactive. Uh, and, and moving forward in that manner, okay? So we're gonna see how this resonates with you more in the extended when we clarify it. Now, in the recent past, uh, Virgo, you have the Six of Pentacles, you have the Six of Swords, and you have the Chariot. So I feel like in the recent past, um, there was a situation that you chose to disconnect from, okay? And the situation that you chose to disconnect from had a lot to do with the fact that you may have felt that you were giving a lot to a situation, okay? You were being very generous and very giving to a situation, or this could have been that you were involved with someone who wasn't as generous in giving to you as maybe you wanted or expected, okay? Now, when the situation in your life was out of balance, um, you know, you may have said to yourself, you know what, I have to move on from this, okay? The chariot and the six of swords. So you may have felt it was time for you to go, disconnect from someone or something, and this resulted in, this could have been um, connected to the uh, solar eclipse, okay, in Libra. This could have been a job. Some of you were in a job that you felt like you were giving your all and you weren't maybe appreciated for giving your all, or maybe this was a relationship. Either way, something was out of balance, okay? Six of pentacles here in reverse, and you put your foot down, you disconnected and moved on with your life. And that's what I'm seeing happen in the past. Now, in the present moment, you have the Eight of Wands, you have the Six of Cups, and you have the King of Pentacles. So I feel with the King of Pentacles, this is you. This is your energy. Uh, you could be a Sun, Moon, or Rising Virgo. I do feel, and, and the message is very clear here. I'm not going to um, make it more than what it is. There's something here about someone from your past, okay? Or a memory or something from the past. And I feel very strongly that there's communication coming in. There's some important message or important communication that's coming in for you um, that could be connected to the past, okay? So if you are inquiring about someone from the past, a situation from the past, um, Many of you in the present moment are waiting for a phone call or you're waiting for, for some sort of action. I feel like 
that action is going to take place in mid October. Um, and it happens very quickly. Okay. This happens very quickly. So there's something about someone here from your past. That's what I'm getting. Now, if this isn't about someone specifically from the past, this could be past memories, um, revising past memories and just really maybe even some of you are visiting someone from the past or you're visiting a family member or something from the past. And there's an important message here, uh, in connection to that. And we're going to find out more when we clarify. Now in the near future, you have the three of pentacles, you have the nine of wands and you have the two of wands. So I feel like in the near future, and I said this to cancer, some of you have cancer very strongly in your chart. You could be a moon cancer, or you could have some planets in cancer. I feel like in the near future, there's a strong energy of giving up or, or feeling like something here that you've put a lot of energy and effort into. There's really no point in continuing to put energy and effort into this situation. Now there will be a choice or decision. Okay. And this choice or decision has a lot to do with collaboration. Should you collaborate with certain people? Should you give this person a chance? Should you continue to give somebody here a chance? Um, I feel like there's a very life changing decision that you may make here in the near future. And this I feel is connected to Pluto because Pluto is trining your sun, moon and rising. It's going to be the last time that it trines your sun, moon and rising for the next few years, more than a few years, I would say 20 plus years. Um, so that transformative help that you've been getting from uh, Capricorn, it's going to move into Aquarius. So there's a lot of choices or decisions that may need to be made here about collaborations, working with other people, um, cooperating with other people. Some of you are tired of someone here in the near future and you're really close to giving up. Um, and there may be a certain decision or choice that you have to make in regards to that. Okay. Because the three of pentacles here in the near future is about cooperation. It's about collaboration. It's about coming together. This could be friends or it can simply just be, um, you know, working things out with someone here romantically. Okay. Um, I see that you've been putting, or you will be putting a lot of energy and effort. Some of you are dealing with a Sagittarius or a Taurus here in the near future. Okay. So it's, it's almost like you may be saying to yourself, I just feel like giving up. I've tried to make this work. Um, you know, and, and I feel also Virgo, just keep this in mind, which is the five of swords is part of your challenge. It's really important that you continuously make an effort. And I know some of you may say, I don't want to continue to make an effort. I've already been trying to do that. And, you know, um, I feel like my actions aren't really, they're not really playing out or panning out for me. Uh, the reality here is, is that whatever is meant for you is going to happen for you the way it needs to happen for you. Um, I do feel like there's two paths that you can take in your life in the near future. You can choose to give up or you can choose to carry on with this because you have some sort of goal in November with the star here. Some of you want to take a relationship to the next level. You want to move in with your person. Uh, some of you just simply want stability and you want to work on your mental well-being and your health and you want to get back to this place of being happy. There could be something here in November that you have to let go of or you need to focus on letting go of. And it could have a lot to do with control. Okay. And this is why the five of swords is here as well, too. It's one thing to assert yourself. It's another thing to try to take over the whole entire situation and being, be controlling because what I've learned, uh, in my life is that, you know, circumstances are sometimes out of our reach and sometimes things happen, um, that are out of our control. So for many of you, I do strongly feel there's going to be an important person here in the near future that is going to help you. Uh, and it's going to help you and maybe help friends. And this person is going to help you to choose the right path. They're going to help you to get closer to the stability that you're looking for, because you are looking for some form of stability, especially because in the past you may have felt like you gave a lot and you didn't get as much in return, but that's going to change in the near future. There's no longer going to be this energy of, um, you're giving, 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 and you're not getting anything in return. There is a strong energy here of cooperation, collaboration and cooperation, but it's, it's important that you don't give up too quickly, um, that you persevere in the situation. That's why you have the five of swords here because the five of swords is giving you that energy to be able to implement your willpower on a situation for the better, not, not negatively, but for the better. 
Okay. So let's uh, quickly talk about November. Now, like I said, in November, the star is your main energy for November. The star is about healing. The star is about your future. The star is about uh, guiding lights. It, the star is about cooperation, community, and everything. A lot of you, um, let's talk about your 11th house, your 11th house, you have cancer there. Now, one of the things that I have been studying and looking at is this Mars retrograde, which is going to happen for the next six months. Um, it is happening in your 11th house. This has a lot to do with your wishes, your dreams, the, the larger community that you deal with, that you hang out with friends. So many of you are going to realize who is there, who has your back. Many of you are going to realize and focus on the dreams and goals that you have, and you're moving towards that. Okay. Now, as we move closer to the end of October, M Mars is going to go in a shadow period. So it's going to start to slowly slow down, um, because Mars takes a lot longer to slow down than Mercury. So you may start to feel that you need to get more serious about your goals. You need to get more serious about um, your dreams, your wishes, maybe even get serious about the type of people that you hang around with. Some of you may be hanging around with the wrong people. And you may come to this conclusion that in order to get to this place of stability, which is what you're striving for, you may need to reevaluate your friends. You may need to reevaluate your goals and the dreams that you are looking to achieve. For many of you, it is important that by the time November rolls around, you rest because Pluto is going to exit Capricorn mid-November, okay? And what is that going to do? It's already moving. It's going to be moving direct in a few days, um, depending on when you watch this. So there's a strong energy here focusing on your health. Okay. Cause once Pluto moves out of that, uh, Capricorn energy, it's going to go into Aquarius. It's not going to be trining your sun, moon and rising anymore. The trine aspect in astrology is very beneficial. Okay. Because it's a helpful benefit. It's a helpful energy, but that's going to be moving out of Capricorn. It's going to be moving into Aquarius. So there's going to be a different energy here. Okay. Um, but nevertheless, Oct um, October is a month that you're preparing for major changes in November. We're going to talk more about that in the extended in November, you're moving towards your happiness. So whatever is not serving you, you're actually disconnecting from it. Anything that is not beneficial to you, you're disconnecting from it. Okay. That's what I feel is happening for many of you. Of course, in the extended, we're going to talk more about this. We're going to clarify everything and provide you with some advice. Virgo, I want to thank you very much for tuning into this reading and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.